live talking today about what is the CCMP. It's important that we have this conversation because I find so many people don't know what the CCMP is and the Certified Change Management Professional designation is a really special designation. It's relatively new and I'm really excited today to share this with you. I'm a CCMP, a Certified Change Management Professional. I was actually one of the first 100 Certified Change Management Professionals. Um, and I wanted to share with you what I did to achieve this designation, why this designation is important to you, um, and also what you can do to start your path toward earning your CCMP. So in 2011, the Association of Change Management Professionals was formed. And when the Association of Change Management Professionals, also known as um, ACMP, um, when that group was formed, the great thing was just this recognition that we as change management professionals needed to have an association that would really advocate for our profession. And so um, ACMP started out and in 2012, when I first joined ACMP, they uh, were looking for um, candidates to assist in developing the standard for change management. So the standard for change management was a professional standard, uh, like many other professional standards. If you're a project management professional, you are probably quite familiar with the PMI um, body of knowledge, which we call the PMBOK. Um, and there are many other uh, professions, you know, such as certified public accountants who have a standard and they um, test against that standard. There's project managers who have a standard, the PMBOK, and they have a certification and a test against that standard. And so the Association of Change Management Pro Professionals in 2012 uh, began a search for candidates. And I was uh, really excited about this opportunity to apply to serve the, associ the association, this brand new organization. I was excited to apply to serve with them to um, potentially work on the standard. And I was chosen. So I was very uh, thrilled with this opportunity. And we started out by having a plenary session, you know, a big, large session um, in Dallas where we talked about the goals of the standard for change management. So as an association member, I started working with other association members and change management experts from around the globe. And we all worked together to um, start to develop and to complete writing the standard for change management. Now, the standard for change management is the standard. This is like the gold standard, if you had all the time and all the money in the world to focus on a change management effort, you would follow the standard step by step by step and do so. And that's what the certification is based on, is this standard. Now, in reality, I just have to tell you that many times we don't have all the money in the world and we don't have all the time in the world. And we're not able to completely 100% follow the standard step by step. But knowing this standard inside out, recognizing the value of having this standard so that everywhere we understand how to perform the activities, the assessments, um, build the strategy, <clears throat> excuse me, and then execute and implement uh, the strategy and the, the planning for change management to complete a change initiative. So maybe I'll step back just a moment and to let you know that there are lots of different types of changes and organizational change management, which is what the Association of Change Management Professionals is focusing on, is an area that not everybody understands. If you think about project management, Many people know project management. You know, if you're implementing a large computer system, um, many times you'll have a project manager, you'll have a budget, you have timelines and milestones, and you're working on this project and completing all of your tasks to complete the software or complete the system implementation and to ensure that your organization has this new program or system 
some new technology or just even new policies and process on the way we do things. And so that is project management. Change management is very closely related to project management. In fact, they're kind of like sister disciplines. And change management is the activities that we do to help people who will be using these projects, people who will go through this change, to help people be able to understand what this change is, to learn about when this will happen and what it will mean for them in terms of business process, redoing things in a different way, all of the pieces that many times we don't even recognize are going to be a big deal. We want to think through all of those um, sections and build a strategy for how we plan to approach this change. So you may have noticed my poster behind me. I wrote a book called Ready, Set, Change, and it's about using a simple framework to accelerate change adoption so that we can help people move from where they currently are to the future state, to the new technology, the new system, the new program, the new organizational structure. And this is what the standard is addressing. How do we do that? What do we start with? What are some of the concepts that we have around change management? Uh, one of the concepts of change management is that we must integrate change management and project management so that the technical team that's leading the technical tasks is aligned with the change management team that's leading people to adopt this new system or technology or change. So thinking about this standard, it was really important that we build a standard that was parallel to um, the standard that uh, project management PMI uses, but also separate because it's for change management professionals who actually think a lot about people and stakeholders. We think about their needs. We think about how this um, change will affect the way they do their work. And we put all of those pieces into place in plans and activities that we then execute against to help people adapt to change, to help people take in the change and be able to function in the new world. So that's the standard for change management. You are actually able to go to the Association of Change Management uh, Professionals website, and I uh, have it pulled up here. Let me pull that up. You can go to the Association of Change Management Professionals website, and, and um, you can download the standard for free. So you see here, it says download the standard in Code of Ethics. And if you go there, you just fill out a couple of pieces of information. Uh, I usually have to remember to put the country in here. Um, and then when you filled out this information, you're able to download this for free. You can print it out or um, you will be able to, um, let's see here, oh, more than 11 years, I have to say. Uh, and then what are some of the other questions they're asking? Will I... Uh, get communication. I'm looking for it in English. When I submit this, you'll see right away that I get all these download options and I can download the standard for change management in English because that's my preferred language. And then I'm able to review this standard for change management and see all of the parts and pieces that are um, that I need to learn that I need to um, really recognize and be able to implement so that I can take the Certified Change Management Professional exam and earn my certification. So I wanted to share that with you so that you're able to um, take a look at how that works because I think one of the benefits of having this um, uh, standard for change management is that it gives everybody a standard way to do things. And you may vary from your standard way, depending on your project, depending on your timeline, depending on the amount of people who are working in the organizational change management um, side of things. You might have a lot of differentiation. You may have a lot of variation in the different change projects you work on. But for project managers, for HR professionals, and for change management professionals, this standard is what the um, CCMP, Certified Change Management Professional Designation, is based on. Now, one of the things that I think is also really 
um, important to talk about is just that you have to have a number of different pieces to be able to become a certified change management professional. Uh, to become a CCMP, not only do you have to understand the standards, study the standard and recognize how it applies to change, but, uh, and that's what the exam is primarily focused on. We'll talk about the exam. There's kind of three pieces. There's training that you need to take, uh, 21 hours of qualified education, educated, uh, qualified education provider training. So QEP training, 21 hours. And that's available also at the ACMP website. You can take a look at many different training providers. I happen to be one of the training providers. ProSci is a training provider. Um, let me think. Uh, uh, Mariner is a uh, training pro provider. I think uh, Ernst & Young is a training provider, qualified education provider. So, And just as GuideHouse is a qualified education provider. So all of those organizations are listed on the ACMP website. And you can go look at the different types of training, but you have to have something that's 21 hours. Now, if you've had change management training, maybe you've done like a, an advanced degree or have a certificate in change management training. Um, as long as it's 21 hours or your, your uh, multiple certifications, your multiple training sessions eat, uh, lead up to 21 hours, add up to 21 hours, you will be eligible to take the CCMP exam. So you need 21 hours of training and then you need to complete the application. Now the application can be kind of tough sometimes. This is not to worry you, but I want you to recognize that there are um, there's an effort involved with the application. So one of the first things with the application, you're putting in all of your data, your information, name and and uh, and uh, demographic information, and then you have to uh, identify your education. So if you have a four-year degree, like a bachelor's degree, um, you can identify that. If you have less than a four-year degree, um, you can identify that. But it changes the amount of experience hours that you have to have to be able to take the exam. So for example, if you have a two-year degree, let's say you have like an associate's degree, and then you have worked in a change management sort of role, like either as a project manager or as a, you know, maybe product development uh, manager. Maybe you've been uh, involved in change from an HR perspective. Um, you must have five years of experience with a two-year degree. If you have a four-year degree, like a bachelor's degree, you need um, three years of experience in change management. So, uh, and if you have an advanced degree, that's fabulous. We're really thrilled for you in that, but it won't change the amount of hours that you have to have. You either have to have um, three years of change management experience, basically, or five years of change management experience. And you have to document that by identifying your um, work experience and the types of roles you've had and how many hours. So if you think about it, you know, what do we have like... Um, 2,080 hours per year, right? And if you worked in change management for three years, you would have 6,000, oh, I'm can't even, 6,240 hours in change management. And if you have a four-year degree, you need to have 4,200 hours. And if you have the two-year degree, you need to have uh, much more. You need uh, more than 5,000 hours. So it's just a um, or 7,200 hours, sorry about that. Um, so it's just a way for ACMP to take a look and see that you've actually been doing the work of change, the work of change management. Now, there are a lot of coaches who do change management work and coaches can also qualify by sharing their experience and their education on the ACMP, um, CCMP application. So that's the first uh, hurdle sometimes people have for the application. Then uh, with the application, we also have, um, in addition to identifying kind of our degrees and levels of experience, types of experience that we've had, uh, <clears throat> there's a, a uh, essay requirement. So there are three essays required and they're only 500 words each, which is a little over half a page in Word. 
So it's not terrible, but three essays out of five. So they give five prompts. And in the five prompts, they're giving you five prompts around the different five process groups for leading change. So those process groups are 5.1, uh, evaluate change impact and organizational readiness. This is the first piece of our change standard. How do we assess the change? How do we determine if the organization is ready to accept this change, to adopt this change? How do we identify the um, the benefit of that change and share that in a way that gets other people excited and interested. Um, <clears throat> so that's 5.1, evaluate change impact and organizational readiness. And so that's where we have a lot of assessments. And as I said, when you are in a project in real life, maybe you do five or six or maybe eight or 10 assessments. In our standard, we talk about 15 different types of assessments that you may use to um, think about how to evaluate the impact of this change on the organization and how ready is the organization to accept the change. That second process group is um, 5.2, formulate the change management strategy. So formulating the change management strategy is thinking about how do I plan to approach this change? You know, I'm looking at my organization's strategy looking at that strategy and I'm thinking about this change and I'm deciding how do I plan to go about with, you know, what do I plan to do with communication strategically? Um, what are we doing in terms of like our sponsor, our leader of the change in terms of a strategy focus? How do I intend to conduct training? You know, what's my strategic approach for training? Uh, how will I um, determine uh, strategically, you know, what the what the measurement should look like in terms of how can we check if we're uh, achieving the benefit of the change? And so there's a lot of pieces there. You know, how do we sustain that change going forward um, that we do strategically, you know, thinking about and kind of planning strategic process, um, strategic approach. Then uh, the third process group is develop the change management plan. So developing the change management plan is when we're taking all of the information we got from the assessments that we're kind of informing that strategy, that approach. And then we're saying, okay, I know this is how I strategically plan to focus on training. Now I'm putting the plan in place by identifying those logistical pieces, right? Like, will there be webinar training? Is this instructor-led training? Um, is there in-person hands-on training? Like, what does the training look like? What does our sponsor need to do and when? What is our communication plan? When will we be communicating with different stakeholder groups? How will we do that? Who's going to write the communication? Who approves the communication? How is it sent out? There's a lot of detail in the Develop the Change Management Plan. This is an area where many people feel very comfortable kind of putting together some logistics schedules and, um, you know, putting together their plan of how they are going to execute and implement. And then 5.4 of the um, process groups, the um, standard for change management process groups, 5.4 is execute the change management plan. And I like that section because I'm a doer and I like to do things. I like the action and I like the activities that we have planned and I like executing those. And so that's 5.4. And then 5.5 is complete the change management effort. And that's when we're taking a look at the outcomes of the change against the objectives that we set in 5.1 at the beginning and seeing where do we land and we conduct lessons learned and figure out what did we do well? What did we not do so well? What can we adopt as a best practice going forward to do a better job? Uh, how can we then work with our governance team and our leaders and close the project, have them sign off, put the sustainability plan in place, and then go forward knowing that next step will be to iter you know, do an iterative um, uh, lessons learned review and to move into bringing some of those best practice pieces into our sustainability plan, as well as going forward into our next change initiative. So that kind of completes. 
So of these five process groups, there are five essay questions. Each of them asks something specific, such as, you know, if you were to do, um, uh, you've done a change uh, with a strategic, uh, formulating your strategic um, plan, and then what would you do differently in the future to have a, a smoother transition or have a more successful project? And so you write 500 words about three of these five process group questions. So there are five process group questions and you just write a 500 word essay around three of them. And um, once you have all that done, then you're going to complete that application, submit the application and pay the fee to take the CCMP exam. Now to take the CCMP exam, uh, if you're ever wondering what the fee is, I think it's best to go out to the standard for change management again and um, to uh, go out to the Association of Change Management Professionals uh, profile here or um, website here, and you can go to certification. And when you go to certification, I'll talk about the what is it, the value, um, the certification itself, the application. And when we look at the application for certification, Oh, this was our picture of the first 100 CCMPs, and I'm right there. Um, but when we're looking at this application, um, there's an, a video that can help you learn how to do this. Um, but to, to uh, look at what it takes to be able to uh, pay for it, it's um, uh, $545 if you're a member of ACMP. And it's $7.95 without being a member. So I think it really is a smart choice to be a member of ACMP because there's so many great things at our website. Um, in fact, our professional development alone is amazing. We have, um, I'm sharing this with you, we have all the webinars, white papers, and presentations ever given since 2011. So that's a real benefit um, because many times, you might be working on a change initiative yourself and you might think, gosh, I sure wish I had a way to <clears throat> see how other people did this. Um, there's also a really fantastic ACMP Connect community group. And so if you ever have a question about anything, you post it in this group. And I am not kidding you. It's like 20 people reply and tell you, oh, yes, I've done that. And here's where I um, how I handled that. Here's what I did. So I think that's really important to recognize that we need to have people sharing this with us, sharing our change management journey, because that's the whole point is to really focus on people, how to help them adapt change more easily with less stress um, and with less resistance and frustration. And that's one of the benefits of, of um, change management. So when we think also then you have a benefit to earning your CCMP, not only is there benefit from change management, but there are your certification. There's a benefit to earning your certification, your, your CCMP designation. And the benefit of earning this CCMP designation is that you are seen as an expert. You are really seen as somebody who is pushing the limits, is top uh, of the heap in terms of like being able to lead change. So it gives any organization that's looking to work with you a lot of comfort that you have achieved the highest level of professional um, recognition in the change management field. It's also very important to think about um, not only when you're looking for a new role, but when you're in the role that you're currently in. You know, many times it's hard to get recognized as an expert, but when you earn your CCMP, it's really a moment to celebrate um, you post it on your, your LinkedIn, you tell people that you're a CCMP, and then it gives, um, gives you an opportunity to ask for maybe a, a, some recognition in your role at work or uh, a promotion perhaps, or maybe a fee increase or rate increase, um, some sort of salary bump for earning this really difficult certification. Um, so I think that there's a lot of benefits both if you're an independent consultant and you want other organizations to see you and know that you know what you're doing. And also if you're an internal employee or internal resource and you want your organization to really understand that you are an expert because it's tough to be recognized as an expert 
when you are an employee, when you work internally uh, as a resource for an organization. Um, one of the things that I also think is important to tell you about is our some of our students who've been very, very successful in earning their CCMPs. Um, as I mentioned, I'm a qualified education provider. And so I have a lot of students who go through our um, Ready, Set, Change, Accelerated Training and Exam Prep. And they have had terrific success with not only um, having them pass their CCMPs on the first try, um, but also we have had a lot of success with our participants being um, promoted and also getting new jobs very quickly after earning their CCMPs. In fact, one of our, our uh, very successful CCMPs, um, Kathy DeLuca, she, she was so thrilled that you know, she was kind of felt like she was struggling to earn the CCMP. It was kind of a tough climb. And then she took her exam. We worked with her, studied, took her exam. She earned her CCMP. And within three weeks, she had a brand new job that she loves. That's fantastic. Great fit for her. More change management than project management. I've also had some uh, HR professionals who really wanted to focus on change management so they could go into a more of a change management role as opposed to being primarily um, HR. And uh, it was able to, one of, our, one of our participants was able to move from her HR sort of compensation role, which she found a little bit, um, maybe not exciting, <laughs> if I have to say it politely, not very exciting. And she uh, earned her CCMP and then she was able to move into leading change in her organization as a part of the PMO. So many project management offices have a change management role in them. And many projects have a change management lead as a part of the project team. And all of those um, roles require some sort of training, education, and then having that certification really makes a very big difference um, to folks. So I think it's important to really recognize that there's a lot to be gained for you from going forward and really doing something hard, which is earning a certified change management professional designation. Now, of course, we have, um, we meaning uh, Springboard Consulting, my group, we do the um, Ready, Set, Change, Accelerated Training and Exam Prep, uh, which we are just on a mission to create as many CCMPs as possible. And for um, for those who are not able to do that, we do have our Ready, Set, Change um, exam prep guide. And that exam prep guide is available on Amazon. And it is so helpful because it walks you through what each of the pieces of the application are and then how to study. One of the other pieces that we've created over the years, and then I'll start talking about our, our cool tools, is a, an exam simulator. So we've created the, um, the uh, Ready, Set, CCMP exam simulator. And then this exam simulator has over 780 questions, like a 780 question bank uh, for the CCMP exam. And it also has gamification where you can play those play a game to study. You can play a game to um, understand, you know, what it is that's on the exam and what you need to memorize and what you just need to know. And then there's also um, uh, questions that don't have gamification in case you don't like that and you want to just have a straight platform. You can do all of your uh, exam prep on the straight platform as well. And we also have a surprise coming up with a... Uh, a very new type of exam that a lot of people have been asking us for, and we're excited to share that for you with you for next week. So I wanted to let you know that the standard working group um, had built the standard in 2012-13, and it was published in 2014. Um, the CCMP was uh, introduced in 2016. And now, at this point in time, we have over 2,500 CCMPs. But just think about that. There's 2,500 CCMPs, so there's still room to be very early in the CCMP journey. There's a lot of space for you. Because when I think about Project Management Institute, right, PMI, when I think about PMI and I think about 
um, all of the, the folks who are project management professionals, as am I, uh, there's 1.5 million of us, but there's less than 200 who also have the CCMP. So if you're a project management professional and you want to move from being one in millions to being one in hundreds, I would encourage you to earn your CCMP. You do the type of work every day that it requires change initiatives, change management, and you can absolutely apply to earn your CCMP and find that this is something that will really propel your career. Um, for HR professionals, I feel it's really important as well. There's so many HR professionals, and yet there's not very many HR professionals who have a CCMP. I would say there's probably under 500. So it would be really critical as well as for coaches. If you're a coach and you want to coach people on adapting and accepting and moving through change more easily, earning the CCMP is a terrific way to really ex share their expertise, to share your expertise with your clients and to ensure that any organization that's looking to bring you in as a coach also knows that you absolutely have uh, great skills and you've been vetted in leading organizational change management. So our site, in, in case you're interested in learning more about the types of training, or even if you just like more information about the CCMP, um, our site is springboard-consult.com. Let's see. Uh, I think I'll I'll go out to our site so you can see it. And that way you can see the, the uh the link and be aware. Um, but I think if you go out to our site, let me share the screen with you. There we go. You'll see that we have an academy here. And um, our academy is where we have um, training for individuals. So if you're an individual person who'd like to earn their CCMP um, or just need change management training, we have an individual uh, section for you and then organizations. Sometimes we have organizational cohorts. Like uh, we had a, a large client recently, a large um, uh, telecommunications client who wanted to train their directors and have their directors earn the CCMP because they have so many change initiatives in their organization. And so we did a special cohort just for that group. Uh, and we structured it to fit their needs. And so we're really happy to, to do that as well. So um, if you have more questions about the Certified Change Management, Management Professional designation, feel free to come here and you can learn more about the CCMP. Um, and we also have our, our accelerated training and exam prep, our CCMP exam simulator and the Ready, Set CCMP exam prep guide right here. And we're happy to talk with organizations. Um, and we also have a lot of our success stories uh, from our different participants who have uh, completed our training and then um, were able to go on and earn their CCMP. So hopefully this has answered a lot of questions for you around what it takes to prepare for and apply for and then pass the CCMP exam. It's my hope that um, you're able to take this information and, oops, sorry, take this information and then um, ensure that you are uh, working toward this exciting goal. Because when you earn the CCMP designation, when you really focus on doing it and get that under your belt, it's like gates open for you. I do have to brag about one of our students. One of our students uh, finished our training on March 31st, 2023. And by April 17th, she had passed her CCMP exam. And now she is going to be speaking uh, at the next ACMP conference, which is Change San Diego um, at the end of February. So we're really thrilled for her and her success. And she really feels like this would not have been possible without earning her CCMP, without attending training and really 
being able to um, know what to do to get that designation for the work that she's been doing in her job. And then to also now be able to leverage that work and that certification to um, earn a spot speaking at uh, the next ACMP conference. So we're excited to help her. We're excited to, to go to the conference and see her. And uh, I'm really thrilled to have any conversation with anybody about the CCMP. Um, and please consider me a resource to be able to help you accomplish this very big and yet very important goal in your life. Thanks so much for attending this LinkedIn Live. And I look forward to hearing that you've earned your CCMP. Thank you.